Hi everyone, welcome to My Stuff with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and this one's a little bit different. No extravaganza today. Uh, apologies for all those extravaganza fans out there, but we've just been far too busy. Here at Get On Board Studios, getting ready for study, getting ready for some massive changes down here in sunny Melbourne. And uh, this is going to be the start of a new set of videos, maybe. Uh, my Stuff, the stuff that I use, one of the most commonly asked questions I get is, what kind of stuff do you use? And this bad boy right in front of me is one that I get asked about the most. So we're going to kick off this series my stuff with um, you know a little bit of a talk about the kind of stuff I use to record YouTube videos which I've been doing for I just worked it out to about seven years twitch for five and I've been using this bad for about three years February 2019 uh, so nearly three years uh, we picked it up from Manny's music down here in sunny Melbourne and I'll tell you what a great bunch of people now disclaimer this is not a sponsored video nobody's paid me to do this this is just something I've done to help out people who might be looking at uh, a road procaster microphone or even one of some of the other products which are fantastic there's a few reasons i like them one of them is because they're made in australia they're an australian company they're fantastic they make quality products even though i haven't used all of them the other reviews that are out there I look they look um they look pretty good they look pretty good indeed let's have a look at manny's music's website and um this is where i bought mine from manny's music <laughs> that one <laughs> Manny's Music in Fitzroy, if you're in Melbourne. Um, look, there's going to be some links down below, links to Manny's Music's website. There'll also be some Amazon affiliate links. Now, well, I may get a commission out of those Amazon affiliate links for anyone who might be, um, you know, in the in the name of honesty. I might not either, though. I'm not sure quite how it all works. Anyway, this is the bad boy that I use right there. The Rode Procaster Broadcast Quality Dynamic Microphone. Try saying that 10 times without taking a breath, and I'll buy you a beer. It's... Uh, I like it. I think it's fantastic. When you pick it up, this thing feels like a brick. It weighs just under a kilo, about 750 grams, I think, from memory. It's really solidly made, but there are a few things you need to know about it. It is different to a lot of other microphones. It's a dynamic microphone, which means it takes noise from here, from the pointy end. Um, these bits at the side, they're just there to look pretty. If I turn this microphone around and I start talking like this, you're not going to hear me as clear as when I've got it right here in front of me. You do need to be pretty close to this bad boy, unless you want to turn the gain right up, which is probably a topic for, for that somebody else can cover. Anyway, this is uh, this is on this is on, on for $249, as you can see right now at Manny's Music. Manny's Music website looks a little bit like this. It looks pretty cool. And um, the thing I like about this uh, microphone, other than being really solidly built, it's also made in Australia, as I mentioned earlier. It's a dynamic microphone. The good thing about this, that's good and bad, so some people it's not going to work for, but the good thing about this being a dynamic microphone, I might be streaming for hours at a time. I don't need to wear a headset to hear um, my gameplay or music or whatever else I've got running uh, on my PC. My my um, speakers would be about a foot, 30 or 40 centimetres away from this microphone, and when I'm playing music, you don't hear it when I'm on stream. You you might hear music that I'm running through OBS for people to listen to, or you might hear um, the, my gameplay sounds, which is also running through OBS, but the microphone doesn't pick up the feedback from the speakers. Because the microphone's pointing that way, and the speakers are that way, it doesn't pick it up. It's fantastic. Even with the gain turned up a little bit, and with the music or the, the, the speakers going pretty loudly, it still doesn't pick it up. Every now and then it does if I've got something cranked right up and I'm trying to annoy the neighbours. But in general, um, one reason I bought this is it enables me to play games and uh, record videos without the, without the need to wear a headset all the time, which can be, which can, which is, which is, I mean, some people like wearing headsets, but after a while, you know, I'm a little bit older than some people, hard to believe. Um, but it is a lot more comfortable for me, not even to wear it. The other good thing is, because it's not picking sound up from the sides, like a lot of a cardioid microphone, which is another option, and you might see people, you see people, they, they're often talking into the side, they often talk into the side of a microphone like that, or the microphone's sitting horizontally rather than facing them. Uh, that will be picking up their voice from the side of the microphone, which is great, but it's also going to pick up the keyboard sound. So if you're a gamer, um, that might be annoying to your audience. That's another reason I opted for the Rode Dynamic microphone. Uh, the other good thing is it doesn't need phantom power. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. If your microphone that you end up buying needs phantom power, it'll tell you in the instructions. Generally, cardioid microphones do, and... Um, dynamic ones don't. Being a dynamic XLR microphone though, it needs an audio USB interface, which uh, I have, I use the, which one is it? Let's find the tab. Can't find it, there it is. 
That's a bad boy I use. I also picked that one up from Manny's Music. Yes, I know that's an Amazon website. I Google them all on Amazon to make it easier to make this video. So the USB cable, which is that thing right here, that one end plugs into the microphone, the other one plugs in to right, right about there. Um, you guessed it, folks. You can see the plug. That's where it goes. And those dials there, they're pretty self-explanatory. They, they adjust the... Um, the volume although it can't there's some pretty lights on it but uh, pretty much with this one you plug it in you plug the other end of the back of the usb audio interface into the back of your computer and you're pretty much set to go now i do use other software uh equalizer apo it's called to to change the notes and the, the sounds of my voice i'm no expert in that i've got a lot of help from uh from a few people setting that up so this video is not going to cover that but the rode procaster microphone is the one i've been using it for three years i think it's fantastic made in australia it's solid as a rock um, it's been dropped drinks have been spilt on it it's fallen over as i've been building and rebuilding and taking things apart on the desk it's it's copped a bit of a beating and it's still running just as new and i reckon it looks pretty cool now of course this is not going to be for everyone you might think oh yeah 200 bucks is probably not bad for a microphone uh when i found it on amazon that was 206 dollars uh which is a little bit less than manny's but there might be um there might be uh, postage costs and that with amazon which might make it pretty much even i'm not too sure that this but there are other options as well that that road make now another a disclaimer i have not tried any of these other microphones that i'm about to show you but there's but some of my friends have and they reckon they're pretty cool as well there's the pod mic uh the rode pod mic which is a cardioid microphone which so you can those those sides that you can see there um that where that mesh is that will pick up sound which is these these are often used for podcasts but they're also often used for youtubers and twitch streamers as well the um there's a road that's it this is a usb dynamic cardioid <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. It looks very, very similar to this bad boy. Uh, that uh, uh, It looks like it's a bit more expensive. However, it's a USB one, so you won't need the USB audio interface, which, uh, as we looked at before, that's another 200 odd dollars. The, uh, the NT, the Rodent, that's another USB cardioid condenser microphone which a lot of gamers use a lot of people who play world of tanks use it comes with the, the the screen guard which looks pretty cool with road written on it you can use that horizontally which might suit uh, your gameplay and your style of streaming or or broadcasting that comes in at just under 200 dollars on amazon uh, again you won't need a usb audio interface for that boy that bad boy this one one of the best arms in the market there's a new one coming out which i haven't tried and i i might try you never know this is the road psa one there's a PSA 1 Plus coming out, which I think um, is very, very similar. Maybe just a little bit more modern. Looks very similar. That's the arm I use to carry this microphone. You can use this arm to carry pretty much any microphone. They're pretty easy to set up. That one's $139. And uh, one other thing that I would re highly recommend if you're picking up the Procaster, I know all these things add up. That's why I would always recommend people to do their own research on what kind of microphone they might be looking at buying. This is this one. Um, I picked one of these up for free. A friend of mine knew somebody and, I, and got it sent out to me. This is a shock mount, which looks pretty cool, but it basically holds the weight of the microphone in the middle underneath this this um, this end swivel bit. What? When you first buy this bad boy, it comes with a, a circ, like a circular lock, which locks it on there, but locks it on there at the end. And because it's so heavy, it does have a tendency to 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 fall back. So the shock mount really uh, really helped me and uh, everybody I know who used ones reckon it's pretty good. Again, I've had that for three years. Has a missed a beat. Probably needs a bit of a dust as I look at it. But same as with the uh, the arm. They're, they're, the 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 road ones are known as the best ones out there, which oh, makes me pretty happy. I like to see Aussie companies doing well um but the rode procaster microphone what can i say i've enjoyed it i've, I've had it for uh, nearly three years it hasn't missed a beat pretty easy to set up but um as as mentioned you're not uh, uh, buying the microphone by itself is not going to be um, the last thing you need to do for this mic you need, obviously need the microphone which might be 200 dollars. you need you need the arm the usb cable usb audio interface and probably a shock mat as well there are other options that road make and uh, i'd love to test them out um, as mentioned earlier this is not a sponsored video however the amazon links down below might give us a commission which uh, which will help out the channel why not and um but it might not uh, I'm new to all that, so who knows? But um, I'll be putting all the links down below. The links not only for Manny's Music, who who looked after me really well. I walked in there with my 
eyes wide open. I had no idea what I was looking for. They were absolutely fantastic there in Fitzroy North in sunny Melbourne, looking after me with the, not only the, um, the, the, the microphone, but with some other stuff that I needed, like the USB audio interface and the cabling and stuff like that. And they were terrific. The link for Manny's will be down below, as well as a link to this microphone via Amazon and the other ones that we've talked about. Also, the arm, the shock mount, the USB uh, audio interface, which uh, I reckon is pretty cool. I hope this is, if you've got any questions about this microphone, feel free to ask me either via Discord, link down below, or in the comments. Uh, I check the comments every day. Uh, let me know any questions at all. I'll be only too happy to ask. Like I said, I've had it for three years. I've been thinking about doing this review for a while, and I thought, no, wait till I've had the thing for a little while. It's been bumped. It's been knocked around. It picks, in my opinion, it picks up the, my voice pretty well with a little bit of help from Equalizer APO, which there's a lot of videos out there on how to set that up. It is a pretty good piece of software without spending huge amounts of money. And... Um, I think it's I think it's a pretty good one. It's become part of my brand. I'm not going to get rid of it. It looks pretty cool. We affectionately know know it as the big one here at Get On Board Studios, and um, I reckon it's pretty cool. Uh, any questions? Leave them down below. I reckon it's I, I love it. There are definitely cheaper options. I must be said. A, a, a normal gaming headset will probably be cheaper than this entire um, this entire setup that I've got going. As always, everyone's situation is different and everyone's goals are different. So you might prefer a USB one. You might prefer a cardioid. You might prefer a cheaper option. There are plenty of those out there. I'm going to leave the road links down below because I reckon they're a great company. They do a great job. They're in New South Wales, and um, why wouldn't I buy Australian, right? Um, this has been episode one of my stuff with Stewie JP, the Rode Procaster Broadcast Dynamic Microphone. I love it. Solid as a rock. I reckon it's pretty cool. Any questions, let me know. We're also on Discord, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. All the links are down there. Like, subscribe, get on board. And um, thanks very much. See you all next time.